This video is about results happen when you stop caring. When you stop caring so much, these things will occur in your life for the better. To find out what they are, please stay tuned to this video. Welcome to the SCG Show, the home of education entertainment. And please do me a favor, if you really enjoyed this video, smash that like button. I would really appreciate it. What does it mean to stop caring? That could mean so many different things. It's hard to pinpoint. You could stop caring about the acceptance of other people or about the pursuit of money, the rat race, or about wanting to fit in with people so badly. Kind of acceptance again. Or what others think in general of you, your family, etc. Or trying to please people. Whether it's professionally or personally or both, when you stop caring, results happen. You do attract that right partner. You can land that dream job. You get that break in your business. Success and happiness can fall on your lap. Don't ask me why this is the case, it just happens. However, that doesn't mean you've got to sit on your backside or lay down and do nothing. It means to not actually get too emotionally worked out but stressed or worried. Because that only damages your life. And whilst results do often happen when you are stressed even, it's not the best way to approach this. Life is suffering and there are many setbacks we experience along the way. I know a guy that always crumbles at the slightest problem. It takes him ages to recover. But I also know another person that no matter what or how hurt he gets, he picks himself up and keeps going. Of course he cares, but at the same time he sees the bigger picture. He knows he's got to keep going no matter what. I've seen people work their butts off all their lives with no result. And I've seen others work the bare minimum and have an abundance of success. Are they just lucky? No, they simply don't care. And yet the results happen. It's a combination of taking the risk and hard, consistent work, but having an abundance mentality that regardless of what happens, you're cool with it and you just keep going. Here are some examples of how results happen when you stop caring. This is straight up facts. The less you care when it comes to love and relationships and dating, the more attractive you are. And that's for men and women. Now, it does not mean loving or caring your partner, not at all. It means that even if the relationship ends, you're fine, especially in the dating stage. When I was single, I was so desperate for a girlfriend to get married. How my life has changed since this pandemic. Now I'm in no rush. I go with the flow and I've become more attractive naturally to single women because I don't put any unnecessary pressure. I don't come across needy and I'm not begging to see them. A woman I know who is stunning and so smart cannot find a man. I just want to be loved. Why won't anyone love me? She moans. Well, because you care too much, my dear. She comes from a traditional family where they pressure her into marriage all the time. All of her friends are engaged or have kids and are married. And she feels like she's left out. She goes on dates, attracting the wrong sorts of guys, is lost and depressed about it. I try to go on dates... Yet, here I am still single, she says, and she really is a catch. So, even a beautiful, successful woman who is overly sweet cannot find love. What if she stopped caring, though? Saw dating as more of an experience and fun. Not saying that she needs to sleep around, but didn't put that pressure on herself. Another woman I know did this and found the love of her life. She dated outside of her culture. Religion was not a big deal to her and was fed up with her family pressuring her, and she's never been happier. I found the love of my life, she said, when I stopped caring. The same goes for guys and me. When I stopped caring, forcing dates, relationships to be serious, I felt free. I was more open-minded. Life is too short to focus on one particular type of person and one type of relationship and so on. If you want to have more success in love, stop caring. I'm serious. You will become irresistible. To the people you're dating and go with the flow what's the rush enjoy your life are you enjoying this video if you are please hit the like button i would really appreciate it 
When you decide to stop caring, you officially remove the toxic people in your life. Toxic family members who are disrespecting you. Toxic friends who bully and abuse you. And the toxic job, colleagues, boss who mistreats you. You have the confidence to say, you know what? I don't need this crap anymore and I'm out of here. And you walk away. And you stay away. When you care too much, you're putting up with too much of other people's problems and rubbish. Sometimes narcissistic abuse, manipulation, gaslighting, drama, stress. Yes, you might say, but they're my family. They're my friends. I have to see them. I've got to have them in my life, is what you say to yourself. You try and convince yourself that you haven't got a choice. And then what gets resolved? Does it ever improve? Does anything ever get any better? No. Fights break out more, resentment grows, drama increases, you read up about narcissism and other behaviour and nothing gets better. When my dad died, family and friends were actually fighting amongst themselves. I cannot tell you how awful that was to see. It was utter, utter hell. And it got me thinking, do I need to put up with this? Why do I care? Maybe you were conditioned by culture, religion, society, family to do so. Enough's enough. I've stopped caring about things like that and the toxic individuals who try to ruin and disrupt my life. And I've walked away. Now there are less fights, less stress, less drama from cutting them out. And I'm far happier as a result. Would anything have been resolved had I stayed, tried reasoning, talking it through with the toxic people? Probably not. But by not caring, finally, and walking away, no contact. Results have improved tremendously. The next results that happen when you stop caring is you put yourself first. One of my mentors said about friends, I said, who's your best friend? And he said, my best friend's my wallet. It was a bit of a confusing thing to say, but he went on. As long as I can financially support myself, he said, I don't rely on anyone. And I can pay my own way in life. I don't need anybody. I can go out to eat by myself, travel by myself, work for myself, treat myself to whatever I wish I'd do, to do. I can treat myself to an ice cream or I can treat myself to a holiday. When you stop caring, you finally, for the first time in your life, put yourself as number one. You matter. I swear you do. Your voice matters. You have worth. You deserve success, happiness. And when you stop caring, I guarantee you it will come. A man I know gave his now ex-wife everything to make her happy. He became a millionaire and treated her to the best life possible. But she was bored and decided for no log logical reason at all she wanted to get divorced. He did everything he could to keep her around. He spent a fortune on gifts, trips, begged for her to reconsider. But her mind was set and she still wanted to split. Since splitting and losing a fortune in court from divorce, he stopped caring. He said, I did everything to keep her. It wasn't enough. So I'm just going to make my life about me. He worked hard on himself in his recovery, doubled down on his business to make up for the financial loss, started getting fit and healthy working out. He did things he never thought he could do and obviously stuff he couldn't do when he was married and he turned his life around for the better. Then one day, out of the blue, his ex-wife turned up randomly at his brand new home to see him with another woman. His ex-wife begged for him back. Whilst he said sorry and slowly closed the door on her face. He said I no longer cared. And despite my split, I somehow got happier and turned my life around by doing so. Nobody's going to care about you more than you. Nobody. So you might as well start looking after yourself pronto. And maybe get your money right. Because maybe also your best friend is your wallet. And finally, the moment you stop caring, you become more aware of your life and circumstances. Seriously, because you stop putting the emphasis on other people, out of things, stuff you can't control at all, you snap back into reality. I did this when I stopped caring about a toxic ex after a very rough breakup. I realized to myself, my God, was I with such a toxic person? I let myself go. I stopped pursuing things I liked. I was depressed. 
the hell was I thinking? When we care too much, we can often sleepwalk like a zombie dangerously throughout our life, career, and so on. In marriages and relationships where we're miserable, and we're not compatible, and we're with it, each other because we hate being single or for the kids. In jobs we despise and careers we loathe because it pays the bills. Associating with friends who are secretly envious or they actually hate us beneath the surface. Results occur and changes happen the moment you stop caring, literally. Because you notice how people can be toxic and you're not so naive. Your job may not be what you genuinely want out of life. You're perhaps living in the wrong town, city country you're on an unhealthy diet and you've been convinced that this is the right way you may be an addict i was for a long time you may have insecurities and so on but when you stop carrying the awareness like a penny finally dropping happens you see the truth the reality of your existence your eyes hurt because you've never had to use them before and you also know what you need to do to improve on things trust me this works it's immensely powerful. You don't have to be a jerk or a horrible person. You just awaken and the results happen. Thanks for watching.